there'll be some instances where you want to remove a card from coming up in your review list, but you don't actually want to delete it. It might be because the card is so easy that you don't need to see it again, but you want to keep it there in case you want to share it with someone else. Uh, maybe you're coming towards an exam and you've got a whole lot of cards, a bunch of which you actually want to whittle out from your review list, um, but you don't want to delete them because you might want to include them back in your study schedule after the exam. You can go through and suspend those cards. You can suspend cards both in study mode or in browse view. So if I'm in study mode for this particular deck, I'm studying, I decide that I don't want to um, see that card again. I can click on suspend and suspend the card. Now you can see there's also an option for suspend note. Um, in this instance they're the same thing, but if I was dealing with an image occlusion card, for instance, um, which has one note containing a lot of different labels, and those labels relate to a number of different cards, then if I suspend the note, it's going to suspend all of the cards that relate to that note, whereas if I just suspended the card, it would only uh, suspend the particular card that I was working on at that point in time. And you'll probably get a better idea of what I mean by that if you go back and review the clip that I created on making image occlusion cards. Anyway, for the purposes now, I'm going to suspend the card. And that means that I've actually completed reviewing for this deck because it only had one card for me to look at today. If I go into browse view, we'll see that that card has now been highlighted, yellow, and it has a bracket around its due date, which indicates that it's been suspended. Now there was another card in that deck that um, wasn't actually due for review until tomorrow. And so if I wanted to suspend that card, I can just simply go to the top of the browse menu and click suspend. So that's an easy way of say selecting in the browse view, you could have a bunch of cards selected, whether it's by a tag or by a lecture, and you can select multiple cards and just suspend them all. And the same works in the other way. I can select those cards which are currently suspended and click the suspend button to unsuspend them. So now when I look in my deck view, that card is there again for me to be studying.